After close to six months in hospital, the nine-year-old girl, whose hand was literally boiled by her stepmother at Guaso in the Hafu region, has been discharged from the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. Stephanie's deteriorating hand was brought to the attention of health officials late amidst fears of amputation through a series of surgeries and treatment largely sponsored by management of the Mensin Gold BBNA Limited and other donors, her hand has been saved, but doctors say she will need a series of physiotherapy sessions to regain function of some of her fingers. Lava Femmes Erastus Asaridonko has been following her treatment in our report. The wife of a Pentecost elder, Reverend Stephen Inkitia, who brought the girl to stay with her, held her hands in boiling water for taking her two cities. For six agonizing months, little Stephanie has gone through pain in an attempt to save her hand from amputation. Dr. Emil Tano is head of the plastic surgery team that attended to her. When she came for the first time, the hand was almost cooked. We have to improve the function of the hand. And I think that we are able to achieve that, even though we didn't get 100%. Now she will be able to use um, the finger to grab something or to write. And then we'll continue now with the hand physiotherapy to improve the function further. Maybe in future we may need to, you know, to, to do maybe some few corrective surgeries here and there. But now I think that what we have is quite satisfactory. Stephanie is happy and grateful to be discharged, but worries about the state of her hand now. It was quite an unfortunate incident. Esther Nyakumbwaten, principal nursing officer in charge of the D2C Benz unit, explains the result attained. We've been able to get this far. It's not the best though, but it's one of the best results considering how the um, injury came. It came quite late. So we couldn't do a lot for her, but then we've done our best. We prayed that people would prevent burns in their homes so that um, these incidents will not come. Individuals, including the husband of the accused and the Waduma Foundation, donated to her upkeep. God bless you. We pray for strength and ability for you. But Mensing Gold, BBN Limited, took over all her surgeries and medical expenses, including money for her upkeep. Emmanuel Edu is sustainability manager of the company. At Mensin, one of the core principles in our community engagement is to follow our corporate mother's uh, Asante care principle. We look at uh, some of these things that are very uh, heartbreaking that uh, you need intervention for the survivor of the needy and uh, board and management or so executives of Asante were happy to support main single to make sure that we provide the required support to making sure that Stephanie regains her health, regains her hand and gets reintegrated into society, especially for her to go back to school. And so we are very excited. We will continue to engage all relevant stakeholders so that whatever she may need, we will look at what is what we are capable of doing, consider it and, and probably come appropriately. Police say they are ready to continue with prosecution of the woman at the center of the abuse who has since been going to court. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumasi. We're still live on Joy News today. My name is Aisha Prime. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll bring you the very latest from the business world. Thank <music> you.